Final Web Design. This is Steve. That's what I would. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So now, could you give me uh, an example of some of the packages that you guys do have at your facility? So if it's like a standard website build where you're just getting like information, pictures, like a home about the business, contact with a contact form that will send you the leads or the the submissions. Um, a few tabs that say like items in stock, uh, upcoming events, things like that. That's all considered a standard website. More or less, if it's around five pages, um, and it's not like taking credit cards or payments, it doesn't need like user registrations and logins. Okay, this is going to be needing uh, credit card payments and debit or whatever. So it's going to be accepting payments, and also, um, I would like to have one of those text to subscribe and all those things for events and all that type of stuff so that I can keep the following and my customers and build a, like a customer base list. Okay, so it needs to take, it needs to be e-commerce where you're actually taking people's credit cards and... Yes, I'm going to be selling products. So, I mean, it's not it's not going to be the most high-end because most of my stuff is going to be on live stream and I'm going to be a memorabilia shop and stuff like that. But as far as if someone does go on to my website, I do want to be able to list, okay, for tonight's upcoming event, it's $50 or whatever, and someone could buy in there, or they could buy in when they get to the event on the stream. Okay, so, I mean, our standard packages with, like, iPhones, Androids, tablets, so that it's accessible through all the other means of the Internet is about 2500 If you get into e-commerce where you need to start taking payments and credit cards and user registrations and things like it sounds like you need, um, you're looking around 5500 and usually about six to eight weeks to get something like that online. Okay, that's reasonable. I just wanted to hear that out. That's something that I'm going to discuss with my partners. But now, have you guys ever, one thing that I was going to ask is, have you ever worked on a website for somebody that does actual uh, podcaster streams recently or no? Podcaster streams? Podcasts or streams or any type of live type of streaming or anything like that? Because then I have a follow-up question if you did. As far as live streaming, um, I mean, we've had people like integrate their their podcasts and their videos and their youtubes and their you know things like that as far as video but i don't i can't think of anything like live streaming no okay so i would say like so you know how people uh just for instance it's not something that i do you know the people that live stream on twitch and all those different things yes so say if someone was on live stream and they were doing uh, and they were selling and creating their business would there be any possibilities that the website could link the live stream to also be playing at the same time on that website. I know that would be more complex, but that's just an idea that I've had always. But if not, I would probably just start with more of a standard and not do the credit card stuff. But a 5,500 is not too bad, but I just want to get a website up and running and I could always alter it from there, correct? Right. You could always start with getting like the foundations and then adding these type of features like the live streaming and things once you have, you know, the the website online. Um, but I don't think it should be a problem to integrate some type of live streaming into the website. I don't, I, I think that's... I've seen it before. Yeah, okay. exactly. I don't think that's an issue. There should be some type of, like, what platform are you streaming from? Twitch or YouTube or... So I'm going to be trying to put it on all platforms, obviously, but mostly it's going to be a whatnot. It's sports memorabilia, whatnot, TikTok, all that stuff. It's okay. not... Uh, like, where do you ever see Fanatics Live where everyone opens the box of cards and the baseball, the football, the memorabilia, stuff like that? Which show or which program? Uh, Michael Rubin is one of the main owners, if you ever heard of him. It's right. called Fanatics is the company. Fanatics Live, if you ever seen them open the sports cards, where basically say you buy a box, uh, say you buy 10 boxes of sports cards. There's 32 teams in the NFL. I, you buy the Jets for $10, someone else buys the Giants for $10, and say everybody buys a team. Now, when I open these cards on live stream, it's the, the 
boxes might say one autograph, two memorabilia cards. Whoever bought that team and what comes out of the box, that person wins. You understand? So instead of people buying a full box of cards, they chase. And some of these cards are now worth, you know, the Luka Doncic logo man just sold for $7.3 million. Yeah, that's It's a very insane. big business right now. Right. It's a lot of money to invest. I just looked at a storefront, but that's really basically the business right now that um, I'm going to just put a little side, uh, get going on the side. Well, I mean, you'd be looking around, you know, to get all the, you do have a, because if you do the e-commerce, you need to have like a business LLC, a bank account to connect it all? Yes, that I'm actually in the works of, but okay. I'm not going to get the LLC until I have the established place that I'm going to be leasing. Right now, I'm just going through it with the realtors, as you could probably only imagine. It, uh, you know, it's a, it's a battle with them every day. You just get one a week, so I'm just trying to get the place established and then i'm going to have the llc set up probably the same day i'm very very efficient and then once i do that i'm going to be building the website but i just wanted to know that i had a company that i could call and have what i need done um effectively and it seems like your business and your company is someone that i could rely on because i also do do think the pricing is very fair compared to what i've heard from others in miami yeah are you in miami I'm from New York. I live in Miami now three years. I'm okay. down here with a newborn and my girl, but uh, I'm West Kendall. So, I mean, some people say it's not Miami. I'm, I'm very far south, like very out inland. Okay. Because we're, we're just downtown here if if you are in the area. What, by Bayside Marketplace and stuff or by Midtown? We're actually in Brickell. Oh, Brickell. All right. That's not bad at all. I said, I, I, I'm always out there, so that's not too bad. Are you by city center? Uh, pretty much across the street, I mean. All yep. right, so that's not a problem. And um, when we do something like when I get everything situated, I would come into the office and we could uh, have a conversation in person and I could kind of like throw out what, what I need from the website. Correct. I'm more of a visual person. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you have a good email, I can follow up and at least send you some, you know, more of our information. Please do. It's just my last. Okay, sounds good. So and you're gonna be sending that over right now? Uh, it'll be today. So it'll pro it might be this afternoon, but it'll be today. Not a worry. I'm gonna be keeping looking out for that, and um, in the meantime, I'm gonna get all my stuff in order. And hopefully I'll be uh, getting this ball rolling soon with you guys, all right? Sounds great, Frank. I will uh, get that to you today, and we'll hopefully talk again soon. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yep. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye.